Good day, viewers. Welcome to this channel. Breaking news. Today's headline: Pair plotting to undermine my guests for justice. Atiku says APC chief stand Okelekwe salute Tunubu Shetima on tribunal victory. The presidential candidate of People Democratic Party in February 25th, 2023 presidential election, Atiku Abubakar, has cried out over the non-availability of the judgment of the presidential election petition court three days after it was delivered. Atiku made this known via his legal counsel who are yet to receive a copy of the judgment after formally applying to the court for certified true copies as of Friday. This is coming on the heads of the fact that Atiku and his lawyers have just 14 days to file their appeal to the Supreme Court of the judgment and the judgment special assistance to article on public communications frank shaibu in the statement of the statement on the matter said by not making available to article abubakar presidential candidate of the people's democratic party the certified true copies of the judgment of Wednesday for its filings at the Supreme Court. The Presidential Election Petition Court is undermined articles and Nigerians' guests for justice. Shaibu reminded the peps that it has made heavy weather at the delivery of his judgment on Wednesday that parties need to adhere strictly to the time schedule set by the court. The PEP is not oblivious that three precious days of the four day of the fourteen days limit for parties to file their process uh, their processes at the high court have been wasted by the appeal court. APC Chief San Okelekwe salute Tunubu Shetima on tribunal victory. The Chief San of the All Progressive Party, All Progressive Congress, APC, in Anambra State, Chief 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 Koli Kodili Chuku Okelekwe has congratulated Presidential Bola President. Bola Tunubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima for their victory at the presidential election petition. Chief Okelekwe, who was the APC senatorial candidate in Anambra Central in the last general election, in a statement said, with the affirmation of President Tunubu's victory in the February 23rd presidential pool, it is time for the country to move forward. Consequently, he charged the People Democratic Party PDP candidate, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, and his Labour Party LP counterpart Peter Obi to accept the hand of fellowship extended to them by President Tinubu. The APC leader, who expressed delight over Atiku and Obi's passion to serve the country in the capacity as president, however, underscored the need for them to join hands with Tinubu to move the country forward. After after the judgment of the presidential 
election petition tribunal PEP, affirming presidential president Bola Ahmed Tunubu and vice president Kashim Shetima as the winner of the February 25, 23, 2023 presidential election. It is time for the government to move forward. I urge His Excellency Atiku Abubakar and His Excellency Peter Obi as great uh, uh, patriots that they sh are to join hands with President Tunubu and Vice President Shetima to move Nigeria forward. Our country is currently confronted with several challenges. Therefore, this is the time to every well meaning Nigerian to place the common good, the common good of the country and her citizen above personal gains. Rise to protect image of Ebony in Anambra Governor Anambra Governor. Iwe Winfulu Winfulu Task Ohalese Ndigo. Upon the state government, under the leadership of Governor Francis Iwe Fulu, has tasked Ohalese Ndigo to raise, to rise up and protect the image of each citizen living in Anambra State. Through the Commissioner for Information and State Orientation, Jude Opo, the state government gave the charge when he received the state chapter of Ohanize Ndigo, led by the President Mr. Peter Mbom, Mr. Peter Mbom, who paid a courtesy visit to the to his office on the weekend, according to Upa Eboy indigenous in all parts in all parts of the world are industrious, hardworking, and law-abiding people. He then frowned at how. The criminal activities of some hoodlum who claim to be from the state should be used to generalize Ebonians as criminal. EFCC returned property to American victim on internet fraud.